Hi guys, it's Shanae and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shanae and I am the creator behind Original Flavor. I pretty much focus on showing average women like myself how you can attain luxury within your own budget. Sometimes the items may be expensive, sometimes the items are more affordable. Either way, it's going to be luxurious. So no matter which way you go, you're good to go. So let's get into today's video. So as you guys can tell from the title, it's going to be an unboxing. So this unboxing is special because it's actually a birthday gift to myself. Yes, I am like three months early. However, I just have a feeling that this bag is going to be very hard to get in the future. So I decided to take the plunge just to get it now and to really like figure out if I like it, if I don't like it. Because you know, you can always return it if you don't like it. But I do have a feeling I'm going to love it. It's something that once I saw it, I couldn't get out of my mind and I became obsessed with it. So when it comes to things like that and I become like, you know, obsessed and I can't like, get it out of my head, that means I must get it. So before we do that, I want to talk about my look of the day or of the night because right now it's like 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so because it's a Gucci unboxing, I kind of wanted to be more Gucci-esque. So currently I do not have a lot of Gucci products. This is going to be the second Gucci item I have in my collection. The other Gucci item I have in my collection is the Gucci Mamont um, or Double G mini coin purse. I think it's just a coin purse actually. I think you would have seen it in a different video where I talked about a handbag collection I would create under $5,000. It's really small. It's really, like I said, it's SLG. However, I but I'm planning on using it more as a mini bag or sometimes SLG to put inside of a bigger bag. But I like the idea of using it as like on my belt or like crossbody. And I actually have created, you know, a couple reels on that and some pictures on my Instagram. Which brings me to another point. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy luxury videos, affordable luxury videos, just all around luxury, whether it's something simple like treating yourself to an iced coffee or if it's a new bag this is the place for you and if you like eclectic fun and original style in addition to subscribing to my youtube channel make sure you follow me on instagram because that's where i most commonly most frequently update everybody on different sales what i'm wearing different trends different ideas it's just where i'm at most of the time but make sure you give me a follow so for this look, like I was saying, I wanted to do more of like a Gucci inspired type of look or based on the colors I have in my closet. So I'm going to insert a clip of the entire outfit, but I have these sunglasses on. These are from the Something by Sonji Times Maroon Still collection. And I think she herself said that she kind of created these with the mind of like the 70s kind of vibe. And there's Gucci sunglasses that look very similar to these actually. But these are way more affordable and I think the other one's on sale so maybe once I recoup from the stuff I've been buying I'll think about buying those. But for right now these are a vibe and I really do like them. This is a headscarf from Amazon. I, when I think about Gucci I think about colors, prints, florals, different things of that nature. So I feel like incorporating some florals and color prints would be really nice. This dress is an orange dress, slip dress I got maybe two years ago from Zara. No, I think it was last year. This dress literally cost me $15, but I've gotten lots of use out of it because the color is beautiful, especially like on tan, dark skin. And I just think it's like a perfect summer, easy, perfect summer dress to just throw on. You can do it casual. You can go to the store with it. You can go out to brunch. You can go to dinner. You can go on vacation. You can do so much stuff with this dress. So that brings me back to my point affordable fashion that looks good that you get many um cost per wear out of lastly for well then i have my these earrings these are just some regular gold metal type hoops that i got from asos for less than ten dollars and then sorry if you hear that noise that's my cat she's a not night owl and she just likes to tackle invisible things at nighttime and fall into the wall why i don't know but i guess that's what cats do it's been a long time since I had a young cat. Anyways, back to the shoes. I decided to wear these platforms. I actually got these for $10 from Forever 21, and I love these shoes. It's like one of my favorite, like, low, low end, well, I should say low end, but like inexpensive finds. Yes, it's one of my favorite inexpensive finds. 
I just think that it didn't give me, like, it costs $10, but it doesn't give me $10. Like, it has all this embroidery on here, all the colors, it's fun, it's exciting. These shoes are super comfortable because the heel is, is chunky, it's not that high, and then you have the platform in the front. So I just think these were a really great find. So like I said, I want to incorporate more like embroidery, print, flowers, color to go along with my ensemble. And hopefully this ensemble will match with this inside the box. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, so let's talk about the shipping. So the shipping was fairly quick. I think I got this bag in what must have been like three business days, which I think is what's promised on the site. It came in this big box. I really appreciate that it has delivery, delivery courier, direct signature required. So it's not something they're just going to leave by the mailboxes and, you know, anybody could just come and get it and nobody knows what happened and now your bag is gone because that's something that would happen in my building. So, so it came in this nice dirty box. And then if you look inside, the box, the embroider, even like the cardboard box is, it's like green, it's like the Gucci print, very nice. When I open it up, the first thing I see is this envelope. It says Gucci on it. I'm assuming that this is the dust bag. It says Gucci. Very cute, okay? Let's open up this. Some information about returning the item if need be. We have our dust bag. I think that's what this is. Oh no, it's a tote. Oh, that's cool. Maybe it's a tote slash dust bag. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so here we have a letter from, I guess, the receipt and like information if you want to return the item. Then we have this Gucci tote, pretty cool. It's like a linen tote. I think it might be the dust bag. If it's not the dust bag, then it's just like a tote, which I think is nice to have. Then inside, we have our baby. So let me open this up. Like I said, it came in this really sturdy box. Super, 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 super sturdy. And it's really pretty. It almost makes me not want to throw it out. But not actually. And then here we have it. So beautiful. Okay, guys. So I kind of did the unboxing off camera a little bit. I couldn't help myself. But let's get into the big reveal. Oh, isn't she lovely? I love her. Okay, I'm being a little dramatic. But this is it, guys. So it does turn out that that other bag wasn't just a regular extra tote bag. And this is the, the dust bag. I don't know if it's just my glasses. My glasses are tinted. But if like the other bag is cute, but it could have been a little more, I don't know. But whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. It was, it's a gift. So beautiful as it is, I guess. So this is what the bag looks like. I have the size small and this is the emerald color i chose this color because once again i think it's a color that pops but still is going to be great for all year round um and i don't own anything this color what i really wanted was the pink but the pink only comes in the mini and 
I just felt like the mini was too small for me to get a lot of use out of it because this is something I want to potentially like on a light day of work I'm going to bring this with me if I'm going to a meeting this would be cute because it's still spacious small but still can hold a good amount of things I could go out to shopping with this because that's crossbody there's a lot of things you can do with this and I just felt like the small was a great option for me the medium I really like too but it is a little bit more pricey and then the large was just way too big the other colors, I really did like the blue one, but I'm not really a blue person, and the white and black is like, ugh, I feel like white bags scare me. I can't spend that much money on a white bag because I would like, I'm already very overprotective with my bags. I can't imagine if somebody would like try to touch a white expensive bag, I'd be so upset. So white and, and I'm messy and a little clumsy, so it can't, it wouldn't be happening for me. Not, not well. And black is just boring to me. Like, I think it is a classic color to have in your collection, but I'm just like, eh, it doesn't pop the same way this one does. So, as you guys may or may not know, it has le it's leather, it has the Go GG, it has the bamboo handles. Everything on my bag looks pretty good because I know a lot of people wonder about the quality nowadays when it comes to these bags because they keep increasing their prices, but it doesn't seem like they actually like sometimes the quality can be lacking from what i can see they ain't lack nothing here it looks pretty good so when i was reading online it says that it would come with these plastic handles to help keep the shape but then the other handles should be inside of the bag so let's see if they are so i took off the plastic ones let's open up our bag Tissue paper also said to stop it with tissue paper to help keep the shape as well as to um, absorb moisture. I try my best to take good care of my bag, so I will be doing that. So this looks like it's the handle for the crossbody. And then we have more tissue paper. Inside the interior pocket of the bag, we have the regular pamphlets, it's a lot of them. None of these look like they're in English, so I think that's very interesting. Okay, so more information about the bamboo parts of the bag. I'll read this later and learn some things because I'm always here to learn. About the production of the bag. Oh, so they are in English. It's just that the first language is Italian, which makes sense because it's an Italian brand. So it's saying that the leather is very sensitive and you should not, you should try your best to like basically have just clean hands when you touch it, which makes sense, which is also why I'm so big about people not touching my bags because you know, how would they know? And the next thing you know, you have a bag ruined, and then you tell them how much it costs, and then you're just like silent, sitting there with a waka waka face, and you're just like. Okay, so let's look at the handles, because I'm curious to see what the the bamboo things look like. Not the bamboo, the, the holders. Why oh, see them in here? So exciting. I'm also going to include like a closer clip of inside the bag and all that because it's hard to do that from this angle and I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the full 360, 360, yeah, 360 view of everything because that's what a true unboxing is. So it came with these brown things. I'm not quite sure what these are for. It looks like they're like, it says Gucci on it. Maybe this is also for the handles. Okay, I feel like I'm like embarrassing myself right now. I have no clue what those are for. Or maybe they're a hope. Ooh, snap. Or maybe they're to hope. Hope. They're to help keep like the, the shape of everything. I'm gonna save this, by the way, because I feel like I never take off my handles of my bags, and I feel like I wanna be better about that. Because I wanna keep take good care of my things, so I'm gonna spend that much money on them. Oh! So these are the handles for the bamboo.
are you done or are you finished? Okay, back to what we were doing. Okay, so I feel like this video is going to be so long. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just like doing, this is like a true like unboxing with you all. Like I'm really like doing this with you all. So it comes in two separate straps, I guess for protection purposes. I'm going to put it to the second one just because I am 5'2", I am short. So I just feel like I'm going to need like the shorter length of this. I like that it's adjustable because nothing makes me more mad than a crossbody bag that you're not able to actually like really use because it's um, made for people who are like 5'9". Like everything else, it seems to be in the fashion world. Everything's made for tall people for some reason. Well, I get it, but I kind of really don't. Like, I mean, if it was made for people who are like five, 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 six, I get it. But who, most most women are not five, like 11, sorry. Don't mean it in an offensive way, but it's true. Anywho, so I'm putting the leather on. I mean, the leather. I'm putting the strap on. This looks so soft. I am so excited. I feel like I might have even did a little too much. I can make this a little sh a little longer. Let me do that. Let's put it to this one. So cute. And this leather is so soft. Like, this is, like, beautiful. So the straps can go on like that. I'll show you guys that in a minute. So this is what the, the straps look like. The infamous neon straps that definitely is adding something special to the bag. So let me see if I can do it like this. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Fail. I don't know how, like, hard I'm supposed to put this on. Like, this seems like it's, like, tight. Imagine I broke the bag and I just got it. I would just start crying. Okay, I'm getting, starting to get scared about doing this. This is gonna be the longest clip of all time. You guys are like never gonna watch my videos again. <gasps> I just really had to do that. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like on. I had some trouble putting the straps on at first because it's, see, I don't know if it was just me or if straps are, these little, the neon straps are dependent on which, which bamboo they go on. I don't think so because they look about the same size, but, or maybe I just figured it out after a while. It could be that. So this is what it looks like. This is the small size, like I said. I love this. I don't have any structured bags like this in my collection, so this would be the first one. And probably maybe only the other one, because the only other time I think I would add a bag like this type of structure would be um, one of, like, I think it's the Fendi Trésor. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Or the, um, okay, I don't know why there's music outside at almost 2 a.m. Anywho, or um, or like a Kelly or a Birkin, but the Kelly and Birkin is probably never gonna happen. So for now, I'll enjoy this one because this is beautiful, and I am in love. I did not get my name engraved on the band only because, to be honest, I really don't know why I didn't. That's something I. That's a very like a Shanae thing to do to get the bands and to get it customized, but I just didn't feel like it. But what I do think I'm gonna do is order the extra bands, and then um in a different color i'm thinking the pink and then adding it so it's like pink and green one of my favorite color combinations if you know you know so i think that'll be really nice so let's talk a little bit more about the the diana bag from gucci so pretty much this is like a, a not a rebrand or a re rework of the original but pretty much princess diana 
RIP. She used to carry around a Diana tote bag that was like, like, she made that bag poppin'. Like, she definitely was like the driving force behind it. Like, there were so many iconic photos of her wearing it. You see her, her athleisure, her street style photos, and you'll see her with many variations of this bag. So, Gucci decided to um, bring it back, but in a more like, I guess, what a different twist. So what I noticed is different from the other Diana Diane totes is that this one has the bands, obviously, that's the first thing. And then I would also say from the vintage ones I've seen, like they're wider. Because I thought about getting a vintage one before getting one of these because they were much, much cheaper. They're actually about like $300, $500, $600, a lot of them. Like an okay condition, but I feel like good enough. And you'll find some maybe for like six, seven hundred that are in better condition. I actually found out that from another YouTube video, so I'll link that video below. Get give credit where credit's due. So I did check those out. So another thing I noticed that was different was that I think that the, where the bamboo goes, like these little padlock um, attachments were not there. I think it was actually on the bag and there was no like double G. Like the Mamont symbol, like that that wasn't in those, in those, um, what you call it, in the older bags. So, like I said, it's like more of like a fresh version of like a bag that was beloved. And I'm here for the rebrand. Like, I think this is a beautiful bag. I really like a lot of the things that Gucci's doing. I'm going to be quite honest. There was a time and point where I really didn't really care for Gucci that much. I just felt like, you know what it was? It was that during that time where everybody had that disco bag that, um, it was another bag they had. It was a couple of bags. I feel like that, that belt. I'm sorry, that belt. I know everybody loves that belt, but I just feel like that belt is like so irritating. Like I, I googled the Gucci style when I was trying to come up with this outfit, even though none of the styles helped, so I ended up coming up with this my own. This is Shanae's version of Gucci. Um, only thing I saw was people wearing basic outfits with a Gucci belt. Like that's not a Gucci inspired outfit. Just because you wear one thing of a brand doesn't mean that it's an inspired outfit. It has to have elements of their style. But anywho. That's just me being, you know, a little critical. Don't worry, I'm critical of myself just as well. I'm also super tired, so that's why I'm sounding a little, like, cranky or ladyish, but that's that. Um, anywho, so they remade the bag. <laughs> My long tangent. And I'm super here for it. I think this is going to be a classic piece in my wardrobe. I can see myself already wearing it so many different ways. I can't wait. I feel like this is just super beautiful. So the price. So the price for this one is $3,100, which is a little, it's a little up there, especially for the size of the tote. However, the way this leather feels and the craftsmanship of the bag, the style, the little neon things, I think it's worth it. I think that I'm going to get my money's worth from this bag and I think it's going to be in my collection forever because I only buy things to keep forever. So yeah, so I'm going to insert more clips of like the insides of the bag. You look getting a closer look at that at the handles and stay tuned and I'm gonna like do a full body like try on of the bag so you'll actually see how it looks on me someone my height <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay guys, so this is the bag and this is me standing up. Like I said, for reference, I am 5'2". So I do notice that with the bands, it's hard to kind of put my hand inside. You need to like kind of do that. Although I don't think I would ever wear it like that because I feel like with, with the bands, I feel like it's too tight and I have bigger hands. So that's not gonna be a vibe for us. But that's this. Okay, so, and this is what it looks like crossbody. Like I said, I was able to adjust the strap so that it would fit me perfectly. This is exactly where I would wear it for my height. And I like that you have the band and the bamboo kind of stands up when you're using it crossbody. That's how it looks like that. I can't move too far because my camera won't let you see the whole thing. So that's this. I think it's really fab looks really good definitely is completely different than anything else in my collection so I am super duper super duper super duper pleased so guys that's the end of the review well it's not really a review but this is more of like the unboxing and the showing off of my new bag let me know what you guys think below let me know if this is something that you will purchase what colors you're interested in what are your thoughts what questions you have please let me know below because I'm also thinking about doing individual bag reviews. So if that's something you would like to see of this one, like an in-depth review after I used it for a while. When I say a while, I mean like two to three months. And then definitely let me know. Let me know what you think about my Gucci inspired look. Is it actually Gucci inspired or is it just like something that I think looks good? Either way, let me know. I appreciate your, your feedback. I like it. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye.